welcome to the stream. Uh, we are in the Norma expanse. Um, I have been on the search for um, uh, Sinus tubers, which are plants that were around in Odyssey. Let's just get the map up so we can see where we are. Right, okay. Um, I have updated the map since um, uh, my last stream. So uh, my last stream, the, the data on the map uh, ended about here, but I've added all of these points since then. Um, yeah, and uh, we are um, just past this fleet carrier now, so um, somewhere about here. We are heading down to this corner. We're not going straight over to here because there's a lot of there's a nebula there with a lot of stuff in it, which we'll hopefully get to by um, before the end of this stream. Um, right, okay, so um, that's where we are. Um, yeah, we are looking for Sinus tubus, or um, various different types of tubus. Um, I have just come from a system um, that is mentioned in the codex. So I'll just go to the game and show you that. So Sinus Tubus, there we go. Um, yeah, so I've just come from a system um, that was supposed to have Rosen, um, Rosen Sinus Tubers. Um, and when I got there, um, there weren't any Rosen ones. There were um, instead uh, these ones. Um, and before that, I went to a system that was supposed to have... Um, up in there. Oh, I think I just clicked on it to go to the galaxy map. Um, yeah, just, just go back. Yeah, before that I was in a system that was supposed to have um, two other types of tubers, Sinus tubers, and um, so it was um, supposed to have um, this one and this one. So if we look on there, they are both um, uh, Sy Sinuka. Um, a A E zero, and this one's the same, I think. Yes, like an E A A E zero. Um, in that system, there were no biological signals at, um, at all. Um, there were four planets you could land on, and I scanned all of them, and none of them had uh, any form of biology whatsoever. Um, right. So now we are going to go to um, where, where? Let me just get the list up. Oh, where we are heading to now. Yeah, so now we are heading to um, Blah Hype T O Y D one thirty, looking for Villacum, 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 um, Sinus tubers, which are these ones here. So, yeah, hopefully we'll see those. They're just five jumps away. And um, right. Let's set off. Yeah, so we are pretty close to um, Sol at the moment. Um, uh, we're only one sector away from the bubble. Is that right? One sector away from... Um, yeah, we're, we're, well, we're one sector away from the sector that has a bubble in it. Um, uh, but we're not heading there. We're actually heading towards Colonia. And... Um, from where we are now, Colonia is about the same distance as it is from the bubble. So um, that's that's roughly five hours travelling time. Um, yeah, we're definitely not going to get to Colonia today. But let's see if we can find some of these Sinus tubers. Frameshift drive charging. Sinus? Sinuous. Sinuous tubers. Scooping. 
Field scoping complete. Right then. Have we got anything in this system? Yeah, so far this sector has been uh, pretty void of stuff that I found randomly. Um, I found a few water worlds, um, a couple of ammonia worlds, uh, but I don't think I have found a single plant drive um, that um, I haven't located via the codex. We may even see some Guardian stuff in this stream, um, if we get far enough. Four, three, two, one, engage. So yeah, I have... Um, actually, uh, right, so Guardian, right, it's the last thing on my list, or last thing on my list in this sector. Guardian stuff, and um, that's along with more Bark Mounds. Uh, which I have tried to find Fuel on scooping. several occasions before, including Systems the last scan. screen. Which I, I told her to hunt for park mounds. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, nothing there. Frame shift drive charging. Yeah, so we're now looking for um, Villacumus Cineus, um, Cineus Tubus, and. Bald Tan, Bald Tanu, Sinius Tubus. Fuel scooping. Actually, I just remembered something. Uh, right, so that system where I went to find the rose of Smith Tubus. Fuel right. scooping complete. Arsinian Smith Tubus. Um, there were two planets there. Uh, no, actually, three planets there um, for me to scan, and I only did the first one. Okay, so there may have been there may have been some rose and ones on Frame shift one. drive charging. Um, although, having said that, um, the planet I did find. Said the Borosum, but it was actually Arsenium. Right, have I got audio? Uh, one, two, yeah, I seem to have audio. Let's just check on here. Right. Right, it's giving me subtitles, but I can't actually hear anything. Interested in frame shift right. drive um, charging subtitles. Why are frame why am I seeing subtitles but not hearing anything? Why are why am I seeing subtitles but not hearing anything? Alright, so I can I can hear something, it's just extremely quiet. Three, two, one, engage.
light volume is up to full. One, two, one, two. Fuel scooping complete. Right, okay, Fuel this is the system completed. we're after. The one with the uh, tube is in. Um, uh, all the planets seem to have been scanned already, which is what I expect. We've been um, identified from the codex. Right, so we're fully fueled up now. Let's get away from the star a little bit to cool down and then we'll scan the system to see where we're heading to. Alright, got a lot of planets. So, um, 70. That's going to take a while to actually scan the system. Alright, so let's start. Um, Okay, right, so ABC5. ABC5 uh, has uh, one biology and three, um, three geology. So um, when I found tubers, they have all been in that um, I think when they've had biology and geology on the same planet. Uh, that was the, se oh, the same one. That's ABC5 as well. Must be the one I just scanned. Oh, this one has, oh, has, ah, right, okay, that's ABC5DA. 5DA. I'm not quite sure how you get that orbit. A, B, C, and C. D-A. Right, so what was the last one we looked at? Uh, A, B, C, 5, A. The um, uh, features there. Uh, one biology on that one. So that's A, B, C, 5, H. That's probably just bacteria. Although, um, uh, it could just be the tubers by themselves, because um, tubers grow on planets without atmospheres, or tubers, sinus tubers grow on planets without atmospheres. Um, the ordinary tubers do require an atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, sinus tubers are um, relics from horizons, uh, not, not uh, one of the new plants added with Odyssey. Four there, okay, that's a good one. Um, what's that? That is ABC 9F. ABC 9F. Right, um, I've got a feeling we're probably not going to get out of this system by the end of this stream. One there. One there. A, B, 
C nine G four there. C nine E A B C nine E oh, we've got another four there. Alright, so yeah, more biology in this system than I found so far in this sector, and I'm two thirds of the way through this sector. Alright, there's still a lot of planets to scan in this system. Stuff there to scan. Is that another gas giant? That's behind the stuff, so I can't get to that one. I'm have to fly around a little bit to get to that one. is a water giant. And it seems to have some moons. Get on the moon. There, that's probably got moons as well. on the moon. There's a right next to it, what's that? On there. Oh, another one, ABC 11A. on those two moons. And that one. Right, so there's still something over there we haven't. What's that another another gas giant? Oh, that's a big one. Seven on there. What's that one? A, B, C, 12. Uh, this is shaping up to be the uh, most plant populated system I've visited. Geology. C, 12G, 
RPG. Uh, I've got another another eleven to find. Some of them are hiding behind the star, so. One there, A, B, C, 6, G. A, B, C, 6, G. Just one. Again, that's probably bacteria. Like these planets haven't haven't all been um, uh, mapped. So I may get the right. So saying there's one left, and I know there's one behind the star. So there's that one there. Right. Let's let's have a look and go to the first one. So the first one is A B C. The system map. So I can't see, can't see where the gap is. The first one is A B C five A. So it it is the uh, the main planet there. All right. All right. We'll head off for there for a little bit, and then we'll turn around. Oh, it's only two hundred. It's only two hundred um, light seconds away. So yeah, when we get there, we'll scan the rest of the system and see uh, what the other planets got on it. How many is that all together? Um, 14, 20, 30, 33, 36. So there's 36 plants in this system. I don't think I've ever come across a system with that many plants before. I've had a few that have had uh, probably in the 20s. to find some anemones. I've not found any anemones yet on this trip. Um, I haven't been specifically looking for them because I found plenty of those on the last tour of the galaxy. Right, so uh, we have um, a ring around this planet. Looks like the ring's quite a distance away from the planet. So we should be able to um, get to position above the planet where the ring's not going to the scan. A little bit close. Tells, it tells you when you're near the ring. Surface scan by 50%. Miss. Right, so um, what's on this planet then? Oh, it's still not fully scanned. Uh, right. Right, 
right, so the missile's just looping around the back to, to the planet. It's got some of it, just not all of it. Alright, so try again, a little bit further out. There we go. Surface scan. Right, so we have lava spouts, femorals, vents. Uh, lava spouts. Um. Ah, right, this is ABC 5. So I should have gone to... Uh, I'll just... This is ABC 1. Right, that's that's totally the wrong one. Uh, oh. Uh, anyway, let's let's scan the rest of the system. Get ABC five, which is where we should have gone to. And there it is. All right, so they are. Oh, that's an asteroid belt. So, um, so there's still a planet somewhere. There it is. System scan complete. And uh, just geology up there. Right, okay, let's go to the right planet, which is not ABC 1, but ABC 5. So look, ABC, so that's AB, ABC, so it's always in all of them. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, 5A is the first one. We've got 5A, 5. DA, which is presumably that one there, and 5H, which is that one. So 5DA doesn't have, right, so neither that one or that one have, um, well, they both have volcanic activity, so there's a good chance that's where the tubus will be. Right, okay, let's. Let's, let's fire a probe into those rings as well on the way past. can't do that. I am not focused on it. All right, okay, let's, let's go back and head off of there. All right, so um, a thousand light seconds. That's not going to take too long to get there. Ah, right. Welcome GDT1320 um, 07. Um, yep, yeah, so we are touring the galaxy uh, in the Norma Expanse, um, primarily on the hunt for uh, Sinus tubus plants, um, so they're plants from Odyssey. I'm um, sorry, they're plants from Horizons, which you can also scan in Odyssey. Um, they appear on planets you can land on that don't have atmospheres. Um, so far, I am um, uh, one, one out of three um, on Sinus tubus in this sector. Um, they, they, well, they seem to appear in this sector far more than other sectors, and there's far more different varieties of them. I'll just show you that quickly in the codex. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's normal tubers, which, uh, which are these, these, um, these ones here. 
and then there's the sinus tubers which appear on planets without atmospheres and you can see there are a lot of different ones in this sector of the galaxy and previously I've only found uh, well I found that in this sector and I found um, one other one I think um, on my tour of the galaxy so far so um, I'm hoping to tick off a few more of those Um, I went to one system that was supposed to have two types there and um, there were no biological signals there at all and I've just come from a system that's supposed to have Rosum sinus tubus and it actually had um, par Parisium sinus tubus and I'd already got the Parisium sinus tubus so I didn't actually get to um, uh, see that. Uh, are you currently on the outer Orion heading along um, the arm? Yes, I I did that not long back. Well, I would say not long, it was a couple of months ago. Uh, let me let me show you the map of the galaxy or the tour. Um, right, so here is the map. Uh, right, so the outer Orion Spur, where, where is that one? That's, um, that's the outer sanctum. I can't remember where the outer Orion one is. Um, is it outer Orion? Um, oh, it's just the outer arm. Uh, I can't remember where that one is. So anyway, I've been touring the galaxy following the spiral arm. So I came down to here and I followed that spiral arm into the center of the galaxy. Then out along the other side um, to Beagle Point and the tip of this spiral arm. Then I followed that all the way to um, hot-footed it straight to the tip of this spiral arm. And then I've been follow, uh, following that spiral arm back in. And I am now somewhere around here and heading towards Colonia. Um, I just mean is the outer right is that the name of the whole spiral and um, the whole spiral arm rather than just a sector um, there's the outer arm there I do remember seeing the out uh, Sagittarius Carina arm Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I've been finding the codex isn't that, that um, accurate either, particularly when you are looking at um, Horizons um, plant life, um, just south outside of the bubble, uh, right, just south outside of the bubble. Right, so that could be could be that one, um, or that one. So yeah, it could be. Oh, there we go, out to Orion Spur. Right, ah, so yeah, that is the sector of the galaxy I will be hitting last. Because yeah, after I've done the spiral arm, I'll go to here, then the easternmost tip, and I'll cover that sector on the way back towards the bubble. Um, Yeah, um, I've been going now for, I think it's nearly a year. Um, I think I started on the 17th of um, July last year. So it's coming up to a year now. Let me go back to the game. Um, so yeah, it's... How integrity oh, compromised. Just a, a, a ring system. Um, yeah, if you click on the About section in Twitch, um, that will take you to the, the Galaxy map that I just showed you. 
and all the locations on there you can click on and um, see the screenshots from lo those um, that location and um, also where I've done streams you can click on the stream um, click on there and go to um, the stream on YouTube or the recording of the stream on YouTube Frame shift drive uh, so far I have managed to get um, on this tour I've managed Four, to get from three, um, two, one, uh, Elite and Exploration to 5 star Elite um, but I'm only currently about uh, well that, that is probably about 5 eighths of the way to get uh, Xenobiology so yeah um, I'm reckoning you probably need to scan about um, a thousand plants to get the Xenobiology Elite. Right. Surface scan so by this 50%. will have um, Rosen Simus Tubus. That's, that's what we were after in the last system. So again, Rosen Simus Tubus isn't um, what we were looking for here. But um, that's what it said in the last system. Oh, why, is it, why is it flickering like that? I've never seen that before. Um, uh, it's got a lot of spouts, ephemerals and vents. Yeah, so this is a planet without atmospheres. <laughs> Let's go down to it and that's all getting very twitchy. Let's go down to the planet, find somewhere that um, uh, there's no atmosphere on the planet, so there's no need for us to be uh, near the horizon to get a good good shot of the atmosphere so might as well just go somewhere in the middle of the daylight zone orbital flight engaged all right so um yeah so that is definitely saying we've got rose and sinus tubus which is something that i do need but i suspect it probably isn't going to be that when we get there Yeah, I've also been on the hunt for bark, bark mounds. Um, uh, it's very rare. I've only found it in like four sectors, and so far I've only found one bark, malt, bark mound. Uh, as you know, you need three of them to get a complete sample, so I haven't yet got a sample of um, bark mound. Um, uh, two of the systems I went to that the codex said it was in. Um, there were no biological signals at all, or at least no biological signals on planets without atmospheres. Um, uh, my last stream was entitled The Hunt for Bark Mounds, and um, yeah, couldn't find any at all. Um, now, I was wondering if, um, uh, earlier today, I was wondering if when it, when it says it's there in the codex and you don't find it, uh, maybe you have to go and scan the planets in the system. So I did that earlier today and that didn't bring up uh, any biology, the biological signals either. Landing gear deployed. So let's see what we've got on this planet. So if it's true and they are Rosem, um, then they should be uh, red. Uh, if they are the ones that the codex says was here, then they will be, um, uh, I think, blue or grey. So, GDT, are you um, are you an Odyssey player, or um, are you just on Horizons um, still? Cool. Um, I, again, I haven't. Um, I was having real problems when Odyssey first came out with. Um, oh, I should have got out in the SRV. So let's get the SRV out. Um, yeah, I had real problems with frame rate. Um, uh, so I set off on the tour of the galaxy. I was going to complete, um, um, get to uh, elite in the mercenary rank before setting off, uh, but because uh, of the problems I was having with frame rate in combat zones. Um, conflict zone, sorry. Um, I 
decided to do for Galaxy first and get up to the no um, gravity warning. Um, Xenobiology before doing the um, yeah, before doing the the combat one. Right, so these are purple, so Drive they're not rosy off. like the um, scanner said. So let's see what these are. Um, lig Ligneus. Right, so Ligneus. So, um, uh, Ligneus Sinistubus is what I was going to go for next on the next planet I was going to head towards. Um, yeah, didn't expect those on this planet at all. Right, so I'll just uh, get a note of that. Oh, just a minute. No, I found Ligneus in his tubers before. Right. So, um, yeah, so this is the, yeah, that must be the other type of sinus tubers I found before. Right, so that way I can remove that one from my uh, list of places to visit. And uh, we'll go back and scan a few more of those. And I'll take a screenshot as well. I'm getting um, a lot closer towards the centre of the galaxy now. Um, for the last, uh, since, since like last September, I've been pretty much hugging the edge of the galaxy. Yeah, so um, yeah, the Horizons ones have things on that you can shoot on and collect. They are minerals. So let's, let's see what we can uh, there aren't many minerals I, I need at the moment. Uh, what is that? Sulfur? I don't need sulfur. That's more sulfur. Uh, so it looks like they're all sulfur. Phosphorus, I don't think I need phosphorus either. Uh, no, I don't. Right, let's just go and scan the plants. Drive assist off. I think this will be a good place for screenshots. So, um, let's scan the plant first. Camera sweet out. And All right, so um, uh, you probably, uh, if you join me because you found a Twitch, um, sorry, a Twitter or a Facebook post, you probably saw a screenshot very similar to this uh, in the post. Um, right, let's take a screenshot there. I've just got to save that. So I'll save it with the name of the planet so that um, I know where it was taken. So I'm just going to add that to the map. Um, I don't use the inbuilt F10 screenshot because that saves it as a BMP. And I then have to go through and um, convert them all to JPEGs um, or PN uh, PNGs. Um, so I just... Um, just use press F10 and paste it into Paint to save it. It um, takes a little bit longer to take the screenshot, but um, it saves me time in the long run uh, so when I don't have to convert them all to um, a web format. Right, okay, so um, uh, that's that saved. We've got to go and scan one more of those. Uh, and then um, I think that's probably going to be it for this planet. Um, I have found there are multiple, or before I have found multiple different um, uh, 
uh, horizon species on this, or subspecies on the same planet, which you never get from humans. But I did, I did do one planet, I think that was, uh, might have been brain trees, I found two different species of brain trees on the same planet. I have got the new paint job on the ship, that's the, um, uh, the summer, summer paint job. Oh, just crashed there. Um, from the Elite Stream and um, uh, this week. The, fr uh, yeah, the official um, Frontier Elite Stream. So for the, the distance on these, uh, oh, it is just a hundred meters. Drive assist off. Yeah, um, yeah. Again, I quite, I, I do like the on foot missions. Um, I was getting a little bit bored with them because um, a lot of them were being a bit repetitive. I haven't tried the new ones yet. Um, uh, I had just got my main weapons up to grade four and fully engineered, uh, and I did find that the um, the tougher conflict zones were still relatively easy. So I know there's a new couple of new types of missions out there now which are a bit harder. So I'm looking forward to try those. Well, I also haven't tried the new SR um, the new SRV yet, so that's something. I'm I do have a ship in Colonia, which I used um, as a mission ship to get my um, horizon engineers. So I will refit that a little bit and um, put a scarab. Is it scarab? I can't remember which one's which now. Um, yeah, put the, the new SRV in there. And I'll probably stay in Colonia long enough to get to Elite in combat as well before I, I set off from there. Uh, right, let's get back on the ship. Al although, according to the um, um, official Olympic streamers, it sounds like they're going to be planning something big for the end of the year, so it might be worth getting back into the Drive assist that. off. Um, so, oh, did they? Did they? Um, was that the the? the um, Sinus tubers that we're after here, or is that the not, um, ordinary tubers from Power plant uh, capacity Odyssey? Right, I, uh, I will. I will go into the orbit and. Cannot comply. Landing gear retracted. Come down in another location to see if, see if it's the same kind of tubers on this planet. Because that, that's not the type of tubers I was expecting to find in this system. Although um, the next planet is also frame shift drive well. charging. Yeah, Scorpion. Yeah, so yeah, the Scorpion Three, is the one I'm looking forward to. One. Although I will have to stop anybody else who's out of Colonia. That's 5A that we just, just visited. Uh, right, so um, let's just go back down to the planet in a different location and see if we can find it, a different type of tubus. Because, um, yeah, with the horizon stuff, it isn't um, totally unknown for there to be more than one species on the planet. With the Odyssey stuff I've never found more of one of the same species on a planet. Yeah so as as the Nemnator suggests this is my second tour 
of the galaxy. Um, my first tour I did just after the Codex um, was released, and uh, it was also the time when they were named the sectors of the galaxies. Before that, the sectors weren't named. And um, yeah, I went around the whole galaxy then and found life in every sector. Yeah, go get your coffee. Or I'll see you back in a bit. They're purple too, right? Okay, so this um, is that one of the ones we're after. That's that is one of the ones we're expecting. So um, let's let's get out and just have a look to see if they are the right ones. Got a lot of um, volcanism and vents here. Landing gear deployed. I'll leave the S on B. Probably, it's probably going to be the same as the last lot, but let's, let's just go out and see. Yeah, they're, they're a light purple, the others look like a more dark purple. Yeah, already analysed. Well, this is a much better location for the screenshot than the last one. Okay, let's get off to the next planet, which is um, ABC5DA. Um, uh, that had the same same um, amount of biology and geology, so it was one biology and three geology. Yeah, um, yeah, large clouds is one thing I'm going to have to have a look for. I still haven't found any of those clouds with lightning in them. Um, yeah, I've not specifically looked for one, um, but I have, have been to a lot of um, clouds that has have um, notable stellar phenomenon in them. Uh, but yeah, I, um, and I also found one... Um, uh, unidentifiable thing. Um, but yeah, I've still got to go and find one that's got lightning in there. Uh, I've just been informed I've got um, 
uh, about a quarter of an hour left to stream. So um, uh, yeah, we won't, won't get anywhere near completing this um, sector in that time. We may just finish the next planet. Um, yeah, I, I found 32 um, plant sig um, biological signals in this system, which is the most I've ever found in a signal system. Um, right, which one's the Formidine Rift? Uh, yeah, if you do want to find a lot of notable stellar phenomena, then Draymond's Point and the outer Carina Arm, um, they are just full of, full of biological, uh, full of notable stellar phenomena. See all the names of the sectors, so I can't, can't see that. Right. So let's see then what we have on ABC 5DA. Um, Alright, so DA is the small one. I'm going to scan both while we're here, so let's scan the big one. Looks like they are. scan the small one. Oh, there we go, select the small one. Surface scan complete. If we park in the right place on that small one, we then have a really great view of the big one. I'm pretty sure that's not going to need four probes, but there's also is that some sulfurous areas on there. Surface scan by 50%. Surface scan complete. Right, so what's it got? Um, uh, getting it saying Rosum. I'm not expecting Rosum. Right, so and that seems to be pretty much everywhere on the planet. So let's go and park. Somewhere up, up here, that should give us a great view of the of the other planet. So yeah, I'm gonna gonna fly just a little bit past it and then land Orbital flight engaged. on the way back, so I can tell roughly what the view is going to be from the planet's surface. Oh, there it is. Anywhere around here, it looks like. Uh, so it looks like the sulfurous regions are uh, short of plant life. Uh, everywhere else is pretty much high density. G is 0 0.07, which yeah, you'd expect that with a planet this small. Dying seven o'clock from Sol. Um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I found um, 
found black holes there. Um, and a few Earth likes. Um, well, if, if you're after Earth likes, then the outer arm sector um, is great for Earth likes. I don't know why, but I, I find um, probably twice as many there as in, um, any other sector, considering how far I've gone through it. Yeah, um, the blue overlay, um, are, I'm not a big fan. It's um, some instructions as to what is high high intensity and what's low intensity would be useful, but having it all blue, um, uh, yeah, I, I'd have put a little bit more colour variance in that. Um, it's particularly bad when you've got an entire planet that's, that's all low intensity because it makes it really hard to find the... Uh, very small high intensity spots. Right, so these look like a different colour and they look pinker, so they could be it could be the Rosen ones. Landing gear deployed. Right, um, I'm gonna turn sideways onto the planet because I've got a new paint job on the ship. I'll try and get that into a screenshot. I've got a few vents there as well. Gravity warning. Alright, so we'll head in uh, this direction. So nice mountains here as well. It is, it is very sulfurous the colour. Right. Drive assist. Let's off. see what these are. Well they're, they're now looking more purple, more like the ones we found on the last planet. First footfall, yeah, they are the same as the last planet. Um, yeah, so the codex is is massively out again. But um, we should get a nice screenshot there. Get the whole of that planet in. There we go. Right, and save. Save that screenshot. Yeah, I'll try and do a screenshot for every planet that I land on. Um, if I find something really good there, I may do a couple, but generally speaking, I just do the one. And, right, so... This is possibly the, the planet with the biggest other planet nearby that I found. Uh, I did find one planet that, that I turned around and was very surprised to see another planet just, just on the horizon. Um, that was possibly a little bit more. Oh, so nice mountains over there. 
And this isn't actually one of the sulfurous regions, so it's um, so a lot more yellow in one of those regions. A few vents. Betting if we fly it, shoot that off there, we get a get a sulfur. Yeah, it's not very good at targeting. Yeah, it's not good at all targeting. All right, let's let's get out and we'll shoot it off with a handgun. Drive assist off. Yeah, I I have done um done that trick before. Um, not with planets. Though. I've done it with um uh, stars and the um uh, Fontacula. Because um, they look like hands, and um, yeah, I've done it so it looks like the the hand uh, is holding the star. All right, let's shoot shoot that off with a handgun. Oh, I can't actually scan it. Scan it for a while put to see what it actually is. I have to get back in to see what see what it was we shot off. Uh, nickel, and I, I, I could do. Cargo scoop deployed. Uh, that will fill up my nickel slot. Let's go get one more, and then we'll head to the next planet. If we can get it deployed in the right direction. Assist off. Yeah, I was thinking earlier that the Horizons plants are really hard to find in um, uh, when just going going around searching randomly. Um, I, apart from crystal shards, um, I haven't found any Horizons plants. Um, on any planets that I haven't found from the Codex, or have got a fleet carrier parked parked at them, uh, so that's that, that's this sample complete. So I have got um, there is one more planet I think with life on that is doesn't have an atmosphere, so it's not the end of the hunt for the um, the tubus I was after. But uh, yeah, that's it for this planet. So let's head back. Um, I still have uh, uh, five minutes left, so uh, the next planet to go for is 5H, that has just one biological signal, um, so that could be tubus or it could just be bacteria. Another thing I would wish they add to this game would be um, uh, a thing for docking the SRV, similar to when you're landing on a landing pad for a, a spaceship. Because it's really hard to try and judge when you're directly below the uh, um, slot. Power plant capacity exceeded. Right, so now we're off to ABC5H.
frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Uh, A, B, C, five, H. Okay, that's the last of the A, B, C, fives. Still a lot in uh, A, B, C, 9, 11, 12 and 6. Um, A, B, C, 12 has got 14, um, or two planets with 7 on. So um, there should be some interesting stuff there to find. Yeah, I've got the, um, the new paint job from the Elite stream this week, uh, which uh, looks like that. So it's um, all butterflies. Um, so I have been flying around on this ship for the last year and um, didn't even bother putting a paint job on it. Um, and when I got this one, I found I'd also got the um, Azure paint job available for the Anaconda. Yeah, quite like that one. Um, uh, it was very similar to the Mango one, uh, which was uh, released a couple of weeks ago. But I think I prefer the purple one. Um, yeah, I don't often get to watch the Elite streams due to the fact that they are on while I'm at work. Um, but I managed to catch the catch the beginning of it this week. And the next one should be good because that's coming from Lavecon. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see that. It's, it's going to be on the Saturday rather than on the Thursday. So I um, yeah, uh, should be able to make it to the Lavecon one. Um, uh, not actually been physically to Lavecon, but I joined them um, the first year of lockdown uh, for the online for some of the online events. Right then, All right, we've got a ring, so try and get. Uh, when I've got a ring, I hope we try and get edge onto the ring or directly below it or above it, depending on how you, your point of view. Um, that way, you can get the probes onto the back of the planet without having to. Um, without having to shoot them through the rings. It looks like the gap in the ring is going to be big enough for this. And let's fire one into the ring. Well. Okay, yeah, just the one ring by the looks of it. Surface scan by 50%. Surface scan complete. No minerals in the ring. Right, so we, yeah, this is just bacterium. Right, so um, in that case, I am going to call this the um, end of the stream. So I've only got a couple of minutes left of the streaming for anyway. Uh, thanks very much for joining me, um, GDT1320. Um, I'll probably be streaming again next weekend. Um, uh, hopefully one sector closer to Colonia. Um, so I think... I've, I think uh, actually, the next sector um, has got Colonia in it, so um, yeah, so it'll be somewhere from from that sector. Um, yeah, when I get to Colonia, I will probably be doing a few uh, streams a little bit more regularly, while I do the uh, um, Odyssey um, engineer missions, because um, I think that would be quite useful to to have um, um, recorded. I might, I may even edit those up as as help guides um, on YouTube. That's not something I've done yet because uh, so far all the streaming I have done has been of the tour of the galaxy, and um, yeah, not a great deal of content in some of the very long streams. 
Right, yeah, so um, thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully um, you'll join me again next time, and I will see you soon.